Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. That's right, it's Wednesday. New release day here on the channel. Should have uh, this one and another one for you here today. A bit a little light this week, but I did give you like eight last week. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to play catch up here. But uh, the two that we're going to talk about today in two separate episodes. Pretty notable releases. This uh, new one just came out. On Cleopatra Records, it's the eighth studio album from this U.S. band. They've been around for quite a long time. Of course, I'm talking about Angel. Once Upon a Time. Look at that very angel-looking cover. Where do you see all the photographs in here of the band? They want to make you. They want you to know exactly what they're looking like here in 2023. This follows up uh, their very fine album, Risen, which was a nice comeback album that came out in 2019. So, uh, yeah, a couple years later, we got another one. I would say this one is very much more enjoyed. I, I like that last one. This is even better. So let's take a look at the album here. CD, I should say. All right. So in the band, we've got the Punky Meadows, lead guitar, rhythm guitars, Frank Domino on lead vocals and backing vocals, two founding members, of course. Danny Farrow, rhythm guitar, acoustic guitar, backing vocals. Charlie Calve on keyboards. Steve E. O'Jane on bass guitar, backing vocals, and Billy Orico on drums and backing vocals. All songs written and arranged by Punky Meadows, Frank Domino, and Danny Farrell. So those appear to be the three. As you hear the trucks going outside, snow is falling. I just came in from doing a little snow blowing myself. Gary, how you doing on your uh, snow removal down there in New Jersey? Hopefully it's going okay. All right, so here we go. I mean, they, they really capture the look and feel of a classic Angel album. Look at that terrific collage of live photos there, man. They look like superstars, don't they? There they are once again. And some more, because can't have enough photos of the band, right? And one of the best logos ever to be designed. Of course, forwards and backwards, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, so how's the album, you might ask? It's pretty terrific um, my one little complaint is it's really long it's like 65 plus minutes um, get a little bit of fatigue on here because there are 14 tracks however there's no real dud of a song which is which is good uh, the CD you get three bonus tracks the original the regular album which I guess vinyl or digital I guess I don't know uh, has 11 tracks and then you get three bonus tracks here on the Cleopatra CD so um, I would say it starts off really really strong you get a song called The Torch which I would say is the best song Angel has done in many many years it has an amazing chorus it's melodic it's heavy it's progressive great keyboards great guitars Frank sounds amazing on lead vocals I can listen to the torch over and over again in fact the first time I listened to this album the first time I listened to that song from the very first listen I hit replay to hear it again and then literally after I was done listening to the whole album all I could hear in my head was the chorus to the torch for freedom just it's just great it's good rocking anthemic song the chorus is great excellent go listen to angel the torch right now as soon as this video is done uh black moon rising really good heavy rocker with great keyboards again these first two tracks sound like could have come off the first two angel albums really really strong it's all right is another one great chorus catchy just takes me back to like why I liked Angel so much back when, you know, back in the day. I mean, they were just a great band that incorporated, you know, hard rock and little bits of prog and little bits of glam. I mean, just their music so accessible. That's those three, three first three tracks. Really good. Then you have track number four, which I really like, but get a load of this song title. Once Upon a Time, an Angel and a Devil Fell in Love and It Did Not End Well. It's got my vote for longest song title over the in the last decade. Once upon a time, an angel and the devil fell in love, and it did not end well. So basically, you tell the whole story right there in the title. It's actually a really good song, and it's a really good gritty hard rock song. It's good. Um, it's got it's got lots of uh, you know sounds of like an angel and the devil having sex in it, and it's pretty raunchy. And anyway, it's fun though. Uh, then you got Let It Rain which is the first of kind of like a couple, you know, mellower tracks, kind of ballad -y, accessible tracks on here, but it still rocks. It's still really good. Cyclone is a really good rocker. Blood of My Blood, Bone of My Bone. It's another really good rock song. Again, long title. Then you got track number eight, which is called Turn the Record Over. Killer. 
Um, one of the things I like so much about a band like Cats in Space is like they take you back to a time like in the 70s and 80s where you would hear these like radio anthems that you just can't get out of your head, right? And this song is like that too. The song title, Turn the Record Over, it's exactly what it's talking about, right? And it's all about going back in time and you know, listening to albums through and through and getting that enjoyment out of them and wanting to keep continuing hearing them. It's a fun song. It's, it's a great anthem, great hook, really good. Rockstar is another one. Great chorus, Frank sounding good. You know the guitar work of uh, uh, from both gentlemen from Punky and uh, God, what's his name again? I forget his name. Danny on the whole album, really really good. Good riffs, tasty solos, no overplaying at all, which is really cool. Uh, Rockstar, another very catchy song. Then you got Without You, that's pretty good as well. Liar Liar is is okay too. It, the album loses a little bit of steam towards the back end, but the, the songs are still good. Then the bonus tracks, Daddy's Girl. Kind of catchy, kind of glammy type of track. That's okay. Come On is good. That's a good, heavy, chunky rocker. I like that a lot. And then the last uh, bonus track is Let the Kid Out. That's another good, high-energy rocker with a great hook, really good chorus on it. So all in all, this is loads of fun. Uh, I, like I said, I think it's a little on the long side. Probably could have been trimmed by two or three songs to make a tighter album. But everything else on here is really, really good. I mean, there's really strong material on here. I'd argue that there's a there's a handful of songs on here that are as good as anything they've done since like the first two, two or three albums. So, and you know, we're going back a ways here. So, they should be really proud of this. The last album was very solid. This is even better. So, Once Upon a Time by Angel, well worth your time if you like this band at any point in time over the years. I think you will really dig this. Uh, I'm sure Mr. Butch Jones and may or may not be watching probably already has this too and he's loving it because uh, this is exactly what we want from angel right great amount of keyboards right it's got those little proggy bits as well and just really good accessible catchy hard rock that's what angel do so well so once by a time on cleopatra records out now if you've heard it already let us know what you think in the comments below if you haven't well you got some homework to do Gary, Sal, get the troops uh, going here. They got to make sure they get their homework assignment. They're going out, and uh, there's going to be a quiz at 11 uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, everybody's got some stuff to do. So anyway, hope you enjoy this album. Uh, I do as well. I'm going to give this an easy 4 out of 5 star. Easy 4 out of 5 star. Good stuff here. Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. And also down below, there's the link to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, as well as our merch page where you can get all sorts of cool Sea of Tranquility stuff. And uh, for all my friends who live here in the Northeast, uh, stay safe in the snow today and uh, stay home if you don't need to travel anywhere. And uh, we all got some shoveling to do, right? So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Pete Bardo. See you soon. Got new enslaved coming up next. Take care. Bye-bye.